So now we'll see uh, the Navy bias. So the Navy bias is purely a probability issue. It's purely a probability issue, and it works with the uh, theorem called the Bayes theorem. And the probability always uh, it would be uh, the number of occurrences divided by total number of occurrences. Okay. So always uh, the majority of uh, problems are solved with the probability theorem uh, because it is a proved method as well. The probability theorem is a proved method. So for example, uh, there is a conversation which has uh, saying uh, there is a person travels in a train and uh, he was speaking with the person, co-passenger in the train. So morning he does not know whether he was uh, speaking to a woman or a man. So that's a question, whether it's a woman or man. So the probability can be 50% uh, of the passenger traveled is woman and 50% of the travel uh, passenger or men. So the probability can be 50 men and uh, 50 women. So then there is an another supporting answer says, uh, I think the person I was speaking has a long hair. So out of all the uh, passengers who traveled the train, the probability of uh, having a long hair would be the woman. So the outcome of uh, the person is, I was speak, speaking to a woman. So that's the probability. So majority of weightage is given. Okay, so that is depends upon the number of occurrences divided by total number of occurrences. How much probability it comes, we go by that outcome. Okay, that's called probability theorem. For example, in a dice, so what is the probability of getting you the three? So number of times you throw the dice divided by total number of sides available. So based on that, you get whether uh, the probability of likelihood, probability is also called as likelihood to get the three or not. Okay, so with that understanding, we will proceed with an example to know in detail with how Navy bias classification is applied. Okay, here we have uh, the reds and greens, and uh, if you look at here, we have uh, the number of reds and number of greens. Uh, the greens uh, as a highest uh, number when compared to the red. Okay, now what happens in this case? So I have a green and red. Similarly, I have a red and the number of greens is going to be 40 and number of red is going to be 20. Out of it, if I get a new object, I want to classify whether the object will be red or green. So that is my question. So how do you calculate? If an object comes at the nearer, how do you uh, calculate whether that class label can be red or green? So there is two uh, thumb rules we have to find out. One is called prior probability and one more is called posterior probability. Two things we have to find out. So the first one we will be finding out uh, the prior probability. The prior probability for green will be the number of green objects divided by the total number of objects. Number of green divided by the total number of objects. Similarly for red, number of red divided by total number of objects so that we will get prior probability will be 40 divided by 60. Similarly the prior probability for red will be 20 divided by 60. Okay. So is there clear any doubt on this? First we are calculating the prior probability. Prior probability will be 40 divided by 60 for green and 20 divided by 
surrounding the x what all the objects will be present here it's similar to like a centroid calculations where surrounding this object find out the nearest distance object which is nearer to the class labels near to the class labels so this will be found out by the distance between this distance between this distance between this so based on that it will draw a vicinity of x circle so which encompasses the number of red and number of green objects so this will be done internally by the algorithm okay so after we are finding out the prior probability we have to calculate the likelihood of occurrences the likelihood of occurrences will be given number of green in the vicinity of x similarly number of red in the vicinity of x divided by total number of green and total number of reds so which will be number of green will be 1 and number of red will be 3 so 1 divided by 40 and 2 3 divided by 20 so that's called the likelihood so likelihood of a class label can be red or can be green will be determined by the nearest distance or nearest objects available within the range of x x is what we are going to predict so now we got the likelihood so then once we get the likelihood we would like to calculate the posterior probability always the posterior probability will be the prior probability into likelihood so we calculated the prior probability will be 4 by that is uh, 40 divided by 60 and uh, 1 divided by 40 for uh, green and similarly 20 divided by 60 and uh, 3 divided by 20 so we got 1 divided by 60 and 1 divided by 20 so once we take the probability of this 1 divided by 60 0 0.016 similarly 1 divided by 0 0.05 so since the probability of having red is higher when compared to the probability of green so we classify the x as a rate.